G'day, Chris again at Core Electronics. Today I want to look at the Bluetooth that comes with the PyCom microcontrollers and uh, it's a feature you might not have thought you could integrate into your project. It's a very fast way to get uh, either communications between uh, wireless devices that are close to each other. So imagine a serial cable, but you know, fairly long. It's also a good way to um, add extra capability onto your project. You may not have thought that um, the fastest way to get GPS on your project is to use an old GPS Bluetooth device that might be lying around. If you have a project that you want to integrate with your car and show data from the engine management system, you can add a little Bluetooth OBD2 device in under the dash and then your PyCom device can talk to it with Bluetooth and do whatever you like with it. Um, Put a nice little OLED display on that and show fuel mixture or something interesting. One thing I haven't showed in previous videos is uh, the fact that there are uh, a single antenna available from PyCom that are used for various uh, applications. One of them is on our normal PyCom devices, all of them have uh, an antenna connector. I'm just going to try and get that closer to the camera. Here we go. An antenna connector on this corner, it's very, very small and it's, well, it is gold plated, it is literally gold, uh, and it's quite a tricky thing to get onto. So the Wi-Pi here has one antenna connector because it just has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on that one antenna. Here I have a low pi, it has three connectors. I'll uh, try to bring that up to the camera again, but it's a, it's a little puzzle for the coordination system. At the bottom corner here is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna. Uh, here is the 400 megahertz uh, LoRa Sigfox. Actually, it's not Sigfox, it's a 433 megahertz LoRa antenna. And the one at the top here is both LoRa and Sigfox, that is sub one gigahertz. Alrighty, so these antennas that are available on the website, there is just one kind of antenna that use for all of these applications except for cellular data. There's a, there's a patch antenna that looks like a flat printed circuit board with a, a cable tail hanging out of it. That one's just for cellular data. But basically all of the other applications can use this little duck antenna, is that what it's called? So the trick is when you're trying to put the two together, you need to be very careful. You can damage this connector fairly easily and they are very, very tiny, very secure once it's connected but getting the two connected is a bit of a trick. So again, I'm going to try and bring this up to the camera so you can see. Right on the corner here is the connector and the cable on its underside has a tiny little press stud. If you grew up in the 70s, you remember what that is. And put that face down on top. What I like to do is align it and then hold my fingers front and back and push it together. Once it's on, it should be able to rotate around, but it shouldn't pop off. And you should find it's pretty secure once it's there. Again, it's a bit of a trick to get that off. If you want to pull it off, I generally try to put a fingernail either side of the plug, and there's just enough tab to be able to squeeze that out with your fingernails. Oops, I'm pulling it off camera again. There we go. So if you are using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi for that matter, also works for LoRa and Sigfox. Um, you can increase the range of your device just by putting an external antenna on. The little white patch antenna that's there is built in for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And the Bluetooth specification says that you can get up to 100 meters range on Bluetooth. However, that's kind of optimistic. That assumes that you're basically standing at one end of a football field and the device at the other end is at the other end of the football field. There are no players, there are no microwave ovens, there's no Wi-Fi in the area, it's nice and radio quiet, as well as being uh, what we call line of sight. You can literally see from one device to the other and you know there is no interference, there's nothing in the way. So you can get up to 100 meters range on this, but um, that would have to be in kind of ideal circumstances. Um, but maybe you haven't thought of adding Bluetooth to your applications. As usual, we have documentation attached to this video at the bottom, and I want to bring your attention to the very bottom of that. I found three different sources for uh, code samples that I can use with Bluetooth. One of them is in the uh, PyCom libraries that comes from GitHub. The other two are in the documentation. So there's some code actually written into the documentation there. So have a play with that. 
Bluetooth is, uh, is a wonderful way to add all sorts of capabilities to a project. I'm considering using it at the moment as an iBeacon so that I can have a PyCom device understanding its physical location in the world based on Bluetooth low energy broadcasters, beacons, uh, that are physically stuck in place and my PyCom device should be able to measure its position in a room using those three beacons. All right, so I hope you got something out of that and I'll see you next time.